Hello, what I foos? This is James, and let's talk about Treacherous Trap Hole. Should it be banned? Do you want to know James's thoughts? Well, hopefully, that's why you have loaded up this video. I understand that DK recently made it. Actually, I watched it, I saw it. DK wants Treacherous banned. Why is that? And should it be banned? Well, the thing about Treacherous Trap Hole is that it is an incredibly unpredictable card. It can come out of nowhere. Sure, you can play around it if you're expecting it, but not every deck can, and sometimes you're forced to, you know, go in. You're forced to make a bold decision, and Treacherous Hole feels like a coward's way to remove victory from you. Now, the chat asked me a very specific question. Why does Decade, why does Dad want Treacherous Band? And I feel like I have the answer. Observing Decade on his stream, uh, he will, as all of us sometimes do, lose to what can only be described as an absolute garbage deck. Really, no synergy, doesn't make sense, and he will lose because of this card, because of Treacherous Trap Hole. And I, I feel like that, that upsets him, right? Because then what he then says is, well, this is, this is garbage, this isn't, this isn't real. Like, uh, this is not uh, a way to play Duel Links, when in fact, you know, Konami allows the cards, Konami allows Treacherous, and as players in Konami's sandbox, we need to accept those restrictions and accept those freedoms. TTH reduces the chance the more skilled player wins. Right, so, so this is, this is, this is, uh, this is, again, completely my inference. I'm probably just a classic James overthink. But this is what upsets Dad, all right? His precious bastion of order is being overwhelmed by the coin flip chance of the treacherous hole, right? It's it's completely unpredictable. It's a it's a free combo. Like it's 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 almost an engine. On, it's it's a negative engine. It's a negative engine because instead of you know plusing two, you're minusing two onto your opponent. TTH should be the first banned Duel Links card. Hey, look, I don't disagree, Dutch. I don't disagree, but the thing is, like, this is a game of random chance, right? That's what makes it spicy every time. You have, you make your perfect meta deck, and then you draw random cards, and then you have to figure out a combo uh, from those random cards, and then, you know, the indictment on Treacherous, you don't have to figure out anything, you just have to wait for you know, your opponent to get too greedy, and then you pop the hole. And according to Miguel Joker, treacherous trap hole, free win card, and everybody should seek to include two of it into their deck. 90% of the decks that I confront have two TTH in their decks because TTH wins. Because TTH wins, man. Right? If you're honorable, if you're if you're proud and strong. Like father, you may be laying low by the treacherous hole. I mean, for my own personal videos, I try not to use treacherous because gameplay that I obtain with treacherous is not useful. Is like if it's if it's just a bunch of like I pop treacherous and then I do like a, a, a medium combo and then that's a win, like I, I feel like that makes people suspicious. I feel like people are just like, okay, but you just won because of this cheating card, and I don't want people to think that. So, uh, when I'm trying to show a combo, I I do act proud and strong, and I don't use treacherous. But if I'm playing in a tournament, if I'm trying to grind out king of games, you better believe I'm including this card. But should it be banned? Should it be banned? And I'm ambivalent about this because like dad, like guns, 
I, you know, I appreciate the randomness, I appreciate the spicy, but I also, and I, and I want to make decisions, right? I want to, I want to make positive decisions that will lead to my victory. I don't want to just slap down the moron trap and, and just be, and be, be given uh, something that I didn't earn, right? Like I, I, I'll pop the treacherous and then we'll win and people will demand the boom. I can't give you the boom. I can't give you the boom off the treacherous because I didn't, I didn't think about anything. I didn't have any thoughts. But again, should it be banned? The thing is, treacherous as a negative engine can replace cards in your deck that you're missing. So recently, uh, somebody said, hey James, you know, I don't have all the Trimid cards. You know, I'm missing, I'm missing this and I'm missing this. What can I replace it with? Immediate first thought, boom too treacherous because you're making up for the loss in the efficiency of you know of your trimid master of your trimid cruiser by just killing your opponent's board so rather than a player with limited resources you know being forced to play something that is say working only 40 percent of the time Maybe we can bump that up to 50-55% with just a universal, uh, generic, anti-engine that will bring them victory, alright? Most people are not trying to create content like James and Dad. Most people, they just want to uh, feel a sense of fulfillment when they get on the ladder and stomp some fools, right? And... You know, Treacherous is in a mini box. It's not like it's a main box ultra rare. Like, this is a card that's accessible to everybody. And I would wager that not a few super rare dream tickets were expended for Treacherous just because it is so good. I mean, any any deck that, you know, has either continuous traps or sub-terrors with sub-terror final battle... Uh, where the traps don't go to the graveyard, or blue eyes, where it's just a bunch of monsters and maybe a couple spells. Uh, treacherous giving you that coin flip victory, you know that can mean the difference between victory and defeat. But is it is it an earned victory? And does that actually matter? Does that actually matter? Is it, it is like an instant victory most of the time? Now. I, I would argue, I would argue that you do have to know, right? You do have to know the fight to use Treacherous to its fullest uh, efficacy. You can't, you can't just spam it out. So I think, I think an example that somebody, that somebody gave was uh, Whitestone of the Ancients. Ancients in any science. Anyway, Whitestone of the Ancients. They uh Okay, all right. Anyway, Blue Eyes little tuner card. Blue Eyes little tuner card. They they treach their own Whitestone of the Ancients just so that they can get the effect. Now, a top tier player is open to all plays. You know, whatever gives you victory that turn, that's what Duel Links teaches us that we should go for, right? So if that's gonna give you victory that turn, then you should make that play. But I find that more often than not, you know, going uh, like a two for two and then making Blue Eyes, uh, Dragon Spirit of White vulnerable is is a losing play. Cause I would, I would try, that, try that too. And, in that same vein, the lesson of Duel Links, whatever is going to give you that turn five victory, that's what you should be using. And that's what Treacherous is. So, this is all a roundabout way of saying, like, 
James, should we ban Treacherous? And I don't know. Because, again, we have to weigh the, the needs of the meta against the needs of the many. And Treacherous is tilty and it's fun for both. It's fun for both people. Like when I, like you see me get tilted out by a treacherous and I'm like, ah, oh yeah. You know, or when I play around it, I feel good. Or when the opponent has, has three set back row and I cosmic cyclone the one, this is now cosmic cyclone. I cosmic cyclone the one treacherous. I feel good and smart. I read, that's, that's actually my favorite, my favorite little mini game. My favorite little mini game in Duel Links is the three set back row and then like is my, is my opponent, you know, first position, second position, or third position kind of duelist. Like, like where is, find the, find the money card, James. And my deductions to that end are all based on like nonsense and pseudoscience. But when I, again, when I do get that treacherous trap hole, it feels good. The other thing is, Treacherous keeps the spam decks in check, right? Uh, if we didn't have Treacherous, there'd be a whole lot more Blue Eyes, uh, which currently is like tier three right now. And you know, if you are being tilted by the Treacherous, play Samurais. You have Fuma, you have uh, either Kizan or the Red Armor Monster. They Treacherous them both, because otherwise, she N makes it dead, and then Fuma gives them the Anishi. So, I'd say, if I had to choose, if I was forced to choose in this moment, I say ban it. Ban it, and let a new meta evolve! But right now the meta is pretty good. There's like between 9 and 12 decks that you can choose from. And, you know, it's not all about the treacherous, it's just that it really sucks to be, to be denied victory by this treacherous waifu. Thank you for watching. Good night.